I'm the chap with the red scarf on Going around singing we are York We're city, play pretty That is our style of football How charming, just like the Minster A pint of bitter and a slice from Ginster Walking the walk, talking the talk And singing we are York Climbing up the old division four Right lads, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 22 of Non-League to Premier League. We are York. We haven't moved on that much, just kind of run out of time. Just trying to get back up and running with all the saves and everything going on. So I've had some games to play. Um, we have done exceptionally well though. Since the last episode when we had that 6-1 and 4-2 at, uh, away at Leighton Orient and Mansfield... We got knocked out of the uh, EFL trophy, not not a biggie at all. We've then had wins 4-2 Chesterfield and a away draw at uh, Morecambe. Most convincing performance, a 4-1 win over Oldham Athletic, who were top at the time. We've then had another another game against uh, Morecambe. We played them like Boxing Day and New Year's Day. A 3-2 win, including a 95th. Minute winner, things seem to be going our way a little bit, and then a 2 0 performance, 2 0 defeat at Bristol in the FA Cup. Disappointing because we had to rotate the squad slightly. Um, yeah, we, we could have had something, I thought we could have had something in the game. They scored right on our time as well, a bit of a killer. Um, but a decent enough performance. But today, two massive ones Peterborough and AFC Wimbledon, AFC Wimbledon currently top. Peterborough in the playoffs. Peterborough managed by none other than Gary Neville as well. He's had some nice things to say about me in the week. Transfer-wise, we have let go. Sean de Hobson, um, we're paying about 900 quid of his wages. He was on 2,800, so we've managed to clear that off. Um, and Connor Carty, we've managed to get, what do we get for him? 20 grand, and we've cleared 2,800 again off the wages. Um, however... We have brought players in. Um, Kevin Stewart, a lot of you will know, ex-Liverpool youngster, then went to um, Hull City and Reading. Well, sorry, Reading in the game. Um, we've got him on, what, a year and a half deal? 1,800? Isn't too shabby. He's got loads of blues. Mental's very good. Physical's okay. Technical's okay. He can do a defensive job for us. He's going to be cover at centre-half as well. Um, and yeah. We're more looking at that box to box kind of role. He can do deep line playmaker if we need to. Just because now remember we're playing three in the middle of the park. Um, I thought that was a pretty good signing um, on not too big a money. And another player in, I was a big fan of him back in the day. Emergency backup. We've got him till the end of the season. I think he's got to play like 20 games to get a, an extra year. But deep line playmaker, pretty good. His physicals aren't because he's 35, but he'll be good as a backup. We have found over this last month, we've got John Swift injured as well. We have found a little bit short on the ground with Abri Ferreira, my young striker, has been playing as advanced playmaker in the middle of the pack. It's just a body. I was looking at bringing Callum Gribben in alone, but they want £4,500 a week. And I thought, I wouldn't take the risk. I'm trying to bring down the wage bill slightly. So having him in till the end of the season just as backup. Hopefully, that will be enough. That kind of means now that we've got six central midfielders to cover those three spots. And, even better, we did look at getting rid of some players. Um, I decided to offer Manpala a contract first because he, I wanted to get some money for him. Um, and he decided to take a 800 quid a week pay cut. So that was good. And then George Glendon, another player... Our standout player again this season, 7.29 average rating, 8, eight assists, 5 goals. Um, he was on 3,200 and he's settled for a deal worth 2,100. So we've managed to save a little bit of cash. We're still the biggest spenders in the league. Um, there's still a lot of wages to, to sort of like clear off. Matty Blair is out of contract, I think. But he wants a big wage reduction there. So I'll tell you what, we're going to try and do this now. And he's accepted it which is brilliant. He'll probably be the backup next year, um, 34. That'll be another a grand off the wage bill. And then Lee Griffith's contract out at the end of the season. He's won't be renewed. Um, John Swift has started to play very well for us, so he may, he may. We aren't going to offer him a deal just yet. Um, I am being quite clever now in the contracts that I'm offering to make sure that there's no promotion or yearly wage rises in the deals. Um, that. Killed us a lot with Blair and Mampala. 
Um, so I'm trying to take that out of the deals. And the rest will look at the end of the season. There's players like Isaac Sinclair is on two grand a week. Not a chance he will get that next year. I have tried to offer him a new contract, but he wants to leave. So unfortunately, we can't do any business yet. The year's a whole host of players. Look, it goes all the way down to there that are out of contract. Sinclair will probably go. Griffiths will go. Ramazani will go. Howes will go. Charlie Oliver probably won't go. It will probably keep him. Um, he's been pretty good for us, but we'll wait till we see where we are at the end of the season. J. Manuel Thomas as well will go. John Joe, uh, John Joe too will go. And then Gabby McHale. Contract out in the summer. Uh, I can't sign him, can I? Because he hasn't scored for us. Fringe player. Ooh. We'll leave that for now, but that could be a deal that we may do as a backup. We may do that as a backup. Right. Anyway, before we get into today's games, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you for all the support on the series. Absolutely flying. Hopefully, this is the table. We're in ninth. Hopefully, there could be a chance of a playoff playoff place. And um, We've climbed up, what, five or six places over the last four games. A game in hand as well, because it's a lot of teams played Tuesday night. We, we're playing Wednesday night, um, the only game to play. Win against Peterborough, that's going to put us onto 40 points. It's going to put us into the playoffs. And as you can see, Wimbledon are top. We are currently 10 points off the top. I don't think... I think FM's got a way of screwing us over at some point. But the run is good. The players are... The the, the team is playing really well. I just, I just think... I just have this feeling that FM are just going to take it away from me. We have got Callum Ainley injured as well. That's a bit of a loss. I've had a little look around the loan market as well, but there's not much, not much going for us at the moment. Um, the the loan market was was shocking, was proper shocking. So today we're going with Joe Round, the youngster, capped under 19s. He hasn't been performing that great. He made a, he's made a couple of mistakes. Mark Theobald, our other young goalkeeper, has actually done really well. Um, and I'll, to be fair, I've kind of half forgotten about putting Mark Theobald back in because he's played pretty well. Um, so something to keep an eye on to make sure Joe Round keeps on top of his game because we have got Mark Theobald in there and then it might even mean we can maybe sell on Joe Round and get a little bit of money. So Joe Round in goal, Matty Blair, Max Broughton, Reese Townsend, Jordan Abita, middle three, Kevin Stewart as the box-to-box, -box, Galbraith as the advanced playmaker, Glendon as the deep-line playmaker, J. Emmanuel Thomas on the right, Emmanuel Samba on the left, been a superb loan acquisition, tw uh, 15 goals in 29 games for us. And then Mampala, fresh of a new deal. We need to get more goals out of him if we're wanting to get into the playoffs. Right, here we go. Top teams that we're playing now. I have been playing. We did play the... Uh, well, what is going on here? <laughs> I'm going to have to get that sorted. Right, play. Might end up still end up being a goal here. Ooh, Max Prattman just wide. We were playing on cautious against Bristol City. Um, I do like to swap. If we get ourselves in front, I do like to go, sort of like, especially in the second half, I do like to go cautious. Um, and it does mean that we sort of cut pressure a little bit and then hit teams on the break as Mampala fires over the bar. But it has been an impressive start from us. Right, Peterborough, corner. Broughton heads clear. I think there might be a break here. Emmanuel Thomas. To Mampala. He's found Samba on the left. Can he get his 16th of the season? He can. He's absolutely smashed it in. This guy is absolutely unstoppable. I'm going to have to find a picture of him at work tomorrow. I'm going to have to sit on the internet and try and find a picture of Emmanuel Samba. Contract's not out, but I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to try. Oh, we've given away a penalty, haven't we? Ab from absolutely nothing. I was going to say is we were trying to do a, maybe a deal for Samba. Come on round. You've not had a great season so far. And a penalty straight down the middle. Ivan Tony, York City 1, Peterborough 1. Disappointing. Here we go. Can we respond? Broughton, Blair. <clears throat> Emmanuel Thomas. He's gone long. He's found Mampala. He's not bang at it, Mampala. He really isn't. Right, Peterborough free kick. 
Oh, it's a flick on. Rosa's in. Good save by Joe Round onto the post. And we've survived. It was an half decent effort. Decent save. Oh, we've got an injury. A beater. That's fine. Habringham can come in. We can manage that one. Might get a decent whippage from Habringham in the second half. We've gone aggressive. Ten shots to six. Two clear cut. One half chance from us. 54% position. We actually had 60% possession against Bristol City in the cup, which was impressive. We didn't create much, though. That was that was the issue. Right, we're coming to 20 to go. We're just going to see where this takes us. Townsend's headed. We're going to break here. Emmanuel Thomas. Is he going all by himself? He's got Mampala waiting in the middle, if he can find him. He has found him blocked. Galbraith blocked. Three blocks. Three blocks. And now Peter Rubber breaking. Tackle. Great tackle, Townsend. But picked up the second ball. That's end of highlight. Right, we're going to pause it. We're going to go Abri Ferreira. The youngster who's just coming into a little is a, tri a tribute for improving. Only 20 years old. Seven finishing, but he's scoring goals when he's coming off the bench. Right. Emmanuel Thomas is really struggling. So I'll tell you what, we're going to go Isaac Sinclair and swap them two round. Can't do any more. The point is okay. Would have been nice to break into the playoffs. Here we go. Habringham, free kick. Glendon! Please be onside. I think it is. I think we're all right. Glendon, Captain Marvel. I think he's got like the highest rating, highest average rating in the league, and he's just dug out a header. Lovely. We said we might get that delivery from Habringham, and he has delivered. We are in seventh, into the playoffs. Holy shit. This is where it starts to go wrong, though, doesn't it? As soon as you get into the playoffs. What a change around. 2-1 victory. We've, we've got a knack of scoring late, late goals. A couple of tired players though, so we may have to do a few changes for the Wimbledon game. Right guys, I'll catch you in a minute. Wimbledon, top of the league. What does that now mean? 47, they're on seven. We could really cut well. If we beat them, they're going to probably lose top spot, but we're really going to close the gap. It is really tight. Look, only 12 points separating, sort of like the top 12. Okay, right. Catch you in a minute. Right, and we are back. Now, Few few issues. Loads of players sort of like 85% fit. Um, I think Glendon is one of them. Galbraith. John Joe O'Toole is coming for his debut today. I don't know how long it last. Samba. He's on the bench. He's on like 80 summit fitness. 84%. Uh, so we've had to give him rest. We've had too many games over the sort of like the Christmas January period. It's starting to die down. But unfortunately it means that we're not going to be able to play our strongest team today. Obviously... Habringham is in for the injured Abita. Abita is now out for about two to three months as well. So that's a big, big, big loss. Um, but we've got players on the bench. Seaman may have to come in for Matty Blair at some point. And um, we have got Alex Hunt in midfield, Kevin Stewart in midfield, and uh, Gabby McGill, Abby Ferreira, if Mampala doesn't quite do it. Right. Come on, lads. Keep the run going. Top of the league, Wimbledon. See their fitness look. That extra day's rest for them has done them well. We've got Matty Blair, 86, Glendon, 85, Galbraith, 84. Um, looks like we're going to be doing a few subs in and around sort of like half-time. Thinking, though, if we can take the lead, we may just go cautious. It may just save our legs a little bit. Right, Mampala, he must score. Ooh, he's just like fucking side-footed at the keeper. Right, Wimbledon throw. O'Connor, absolutely no pressure on him. He's found Rundoni and smashed it into the top corner. What a shit goal to concede. We should be 1-0 up. We miss a glorious chance. And then, what is going on here? Just allowed to waltz in. It's a decent strike, to be fair. Right in the top corner. Keeper had no chance. But, shit start. Come on, Habringham. Galbraith. Habringham, he's good with his left foot. Get a delivery in. Beautiful keeper's claim. He's gone long. Oh, Matty Blair. Completely misjudged it. We could be out of sight here in the first 12 minutes. Parks. Oh, we are. Fucking hell. Absolutely smashed him. Two really good finishes, but... Oh, we're uncautious. Just noticed we're uncautious anyway. 
But you lot were screaming at the bloody. But you lot were screaming at the screen. Right, we're on attacking. Cautious goes well, doesn't it? To be fair, that chance for Mampala. And I can't even take him off in anger because we're going to need to save the substitutions for other players. All right, Rodoni, Ashby. I think we're going to get taught a little lesson here. Playing some nice football now, Wimbledon. We're getting ripped apart again. Mighty Blair's kept it in. Oh, dear. That's terrible. Terrible. Told you, as soon as you get into the playoffs, as soon as it gives you that little bit of hope, he starts taking it away from you. Parks. He's fired it way over. I don't know where this highlight is going. It's going to end up being absolutely nothing. Right, free kick. It's been a quiet last 20 minutes. No chances. That's the first one we've had any action for 20 minutes and they've hired it over. Come on. But it's all Wimbledon. We've had nothing since that first that chance in the first five minutes. And we need to get one. If it is three, it will be game up. So good tackle from Sinclair, but they've got it. Mason now. Rodoni on the ball again. Parks. Mason. Come on. Oh, we've missed the tackle. We're in trouble. Good tackle, Townsend. Hey, oh. Are we going to have a little cheeky break here? Come on. Get bodies in the box. Bodies in the box. Mampala. Come on. We've got a few in. John Joe O'Toole on his debut. John Joe O'Toole. Get in. First of the season. Well done, Mampala. And a nice finish from John Joe. The 35-year-old has bent that into the far top corner. And just before half-time, we've been given a lifeline. It's pretty even, the game. I'm going to bollock him. We're bollocking him. Right. Throw in Wimbledon. Keeper's claimed it. Come on, can we get a break on? He's kept it. He's slowed it down. Looks like we're going to have to build from the back. Broughton. Oh, too well. Swazzy's one out wide, but nowhere near Emmanuel Thomas. And now it's giving them the chance to break on us. Oh, he's right underneath it. He was maybe too, too underneath it. We got lucky. That was a extravagant pass from uh, John Joe. Right, free kick. John Joe's headed. We're going to break. Come on, Sinclair, get there. No. Nope. Thought there might have been a little chance of a break there. Mason, fight it in. I'm not going to punch things. Right, let's do some subs. Let's do some subs. We might as well go two up, aren't we? Because he's knackered. Let's get Gabby on as a target man on attack. Abri Ferreira up top. Let's get Matty Blair off. 22 minutes is a long time, though, to be without any subs. But it's game over. I'm not going to get a far feather. Free header. We've not defended well today. Not defended well at all. We're normally dominating the ball. We're normally dominating chances. Our run as well. I wouldn't say we've rode our luck. We've deserved all them victories. Right, Abu Ferreira knocks it down to Glendon. And Glendon is even. When Glendon's getting beat to the ball, you know that you're in trouble. Sinclair's got it though. <coughs> Townsend. Oh, we keep moving the fucking ball away. We got th we did have three bodies in the middle of the park then, and we still decide to go along. Oh, that goalkeeper again. He has a habit of just not looking. It turns out it's an own goal. I'm not feeling this young goalkeeper. Dear oh dear. Corner half cleared. O'Connor. Surely they can't make it five. Fuck me. Eddie cleared. Emmanuel Thomas. Can we get a goal? It'd be good for Gabby to get a goal. Abby Ferreira, lovely touch. Saved. Hit the post on the rebound as well. Aye, aye, aye. I think it's maybe time that we look at giving Abby Ferreira a little run. A little run in the team. Just while Mampala isn't scoring. There we have it, guys. Absolutely battered. I don't know if us, even if we'd have scored that first goal when Mampala had that glorious chance, I don't know if we'd have been able to hang on. We were without key centre midfielder, 
right uh, right winger, left winger as well. Players struggling for fitness. We need a bit of a break. And how are we going to get it? Yeah, we've got a week's rest. Yeah, week's rest, week's rest in between games. So no midweek games for a good couple of weeks, which is good. That will help get players back fit. We're finishing the episode, though, in the playoffs. These Shrewsby and Wrexham that can both go above us, but we're in and around it. Ten points off the top now, which is a little bit disappointing. But I think if we can grab a playoff spot, that will be really, really good. Right, Saturday's episode, I honestly don't know where we're going to come back. It is my birthday on Thursday, 34 on Thursday. Happy birthday to me. So I don't know how far, and sorry, and my missus is taking me away on Thursday, staying over Thursday night. Thursday is my normally recording day. So I'm going to have to record on Friday night when I get back. So I don't know how far we're going to get on. Um, we may look at Salford. Salford might be a decent one because um, they're in and around the playoffs. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, we, how far we get. It's not going to be too far. Maybe another just no, another half a dozen games. But that will then kick us into the last third of the season. Right. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And we will see you on Saturday for the next episode. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.